What's up love? So it's your girl April and today's video is a new wig company. I mean, I'm not really sure how new they are, but to me they're new. So they contacted me via email and their name is Hair to the Queen. Hair to the Queen, like all hail the queen. Okay, first of all, I want to tell you this much. The box is really cute, it's like super cute. Um, and it says for classy and fabulous. Hair to the Queen for classy and fabulous. So inside, you know, you get the norm, a, well, not the norm, you got a pick this time around. So if you got like some natural kinky hair or fro, this will definitely come in handy. I'm going to have to use this for something else. A standard paddle brush with a string at the end, so you can like hang this from wherever you want. And the wig, of course, and their little book, their little booklet, Hair to the Queen. And it's just basically styling guys, share a praise, get a mystery gift, things of that nature. So let me tell you, first of all, let's because I want to say let's talk about this. Okay. Now, they contacted me and asked me did I want to do a video for them. And I was like, sure, why not? You know what I mean? Who don't love some hair? Some free hair. So anyway, um, I never got to see the picture or the wig itself. Didn't even get a link, a URL link. So they was like, okay, it's um, human hair, lace wig, full lace wig. They said glueless lace wig. And it's 18 or 20 inches. And I was like, okay, can't be that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's probably going to be like a natural color, which I could, I could flow with that. I could rock with that, y'all. Mm -hmm. So a couple days after they shipped it out, they sent me a link and said, this is the link that you need to use for your YouTube video review. I said, okay, so let me just click on this. So when I clicked on it, I said, oh. It's red. Hmm. So I don't really do too many colors. You guys know that. But it wasn't ratchet red. And you guys know what ratchet red is. That bright Ronald McDonald red. That's what I call ratchet red. So this was more like a burgundy color red. Which was suitable for me. And I was hoping that it would come that way as is the picture. And it did. It actually came in a burgundy deep wine color red. And this is basically the only color red that you will ever see me wear. I don't do like bright reds. I just don't do it. So it's a straight wig. However, it's not glueless. It's a full lace wig. So you'd either need to use adhesive to tack it down onto your hairline if you wanted to or you can sew some combs and an elastic in it so what I did was I just sewed some combs in it I didn't even do elastic um, I just sewed some combs in it so straight out the box it was okay normally I will have to wash my wigs because the curl pattern is off or the curls are too tight or you just basically I just basically have to wash it with this one I didn't have to do that it already had a part which was perfect. The only thing that I had to do was put a little bit of setting lotion, some lot of body, and just smooth it down my flat iron just on one side because it was a little bit humped up. Hmm. So that's all I had to do. And of course I did style it because it was straight and also it was I styled it with some loose waves because I wanted some body to it. It seemed kind of thin to me. So for the price of this unit, it's a little bit thin on hair, meaning um, I'm a girl who loves a lot of hair. I'm not saying I want to walk around like Shaka Khan, but I would like some volume. You know, some fullness. So that is the reason why I did the curls, just to make it a little bit more fuller. So now that I have that all settled and I've spoke about it with you guys, Let's get into this wig, okay? There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world
there you have it. So this was really simple, um, not in the beginning, only because I had to sew the combs. I don't really like doing too much, okay? Unless I done made the wig. So I don't really like to do too much. But um, like I said, for the price, I think it's it needs a little bit more density, like a little bit more hair. Just just give us a little bit more hair. And for some, it's really good like this because some women don't like so much hair like me. I'm one of those who just like a lot of hair. So I could just like, and give you that head turn, like, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just like to do stuff like that, especially when you're giving me that side eye. Hmm. But anyway, so as you know, the roots are dark, which is a plus because as you can see, my hands are red because the dye is somewhat it wasn't rinsed out all the way when they created the wig so it is rubbing off a little bit on my hands but the wig roots are dark which is a plus the knots in the lace wig are really good that is a plus the cap even though it's a full lace you really don't I didn't need to put any elastic it's fine without the elastic because it's a snug fit however they should have put some combs in it what if you don't have any combs you know what I'm saying but anyway I like the dark roots because if I have to do color I really need the roots to be dark because I'm not trying to walk outside with red roots it's just that's just too much but just a little bit more my volume and you ladies if you guys want to cut layers into it that'll also help put volume in it I didn't want to cut it so all I did was fluff it up and use some of this Aussie and it will make your hair look a little bit more fuller which I like because I don't like my hair all limp into my face just like dead weight you know what I mean I like some body to it some body so for the color they did a tremendously well just well dye job on the color I really give them that just needs a little bit more hair um, so it's just a basic style you can style it the way you want it which is cool because they didn't cut it it's just all one length and you can give it that flair and that oomph that you want to put in it that's why I put like the big beachy loose waves and gave it some extra volume the part was I thought the part was actually in the middle when I got it but it um, was actually to the side when I put it on just based off of the ear taps which is good because I really don't like to do a middle part um, not always it all depends on the hair so with this one super easy um, the only thing that it's missing is it just needs a little bit more hair and some combs and baby you are out the door so I'm not sure if this is 18 or 20 inches for some reason some crazy reason it looks like it's like 20 inches and that's probably what it is um, so yes so on that note Noty note note. I will post all of Hair to the Queen's information for you guys below if you're interested in checking out their website. And as well as that, if you're interested in a custom lace wig made by me, a custom wig, excuse me, or a wig that's already in stock or video units, then you can always check my website out, which is going with the windwigs.webly.com. And that'll be posted for you guys as well as in the information box. So I hope you guys have a great day. Stay diva and divolicious. And let me know what you think of this unit here.